I just have, you, you know, I just have a deep dish pie crust here that I just got out of our frozen food department. If you want to use those or if you want to use the kind in the box and put in your own, you want to make your own, whatever, everything works. We're going to get started here with our melting our butter there and cutting our zucchini. And we're just going to cut this into strips. You know, the ones that are the, the zucchinis that are the smaller are the sweeter ones. And this is, this is a good recipe if you want to um, freeze it also, a good recipe to freeze. And I think in the past we've talked about freezing zucchini and you can do it. It becomes a little bit on the watery side, but just, just um, somebody was talking, was it somebody in this class that was talking about um, when you do that, you, to make your bread, you, you grate it up and put it in bags and freeze it. When you get more liquid, it doesn't matter. You just put everything in, measure it out. Right. So you don't, you don't, even if you freeze it and thaw it, don't squeeze it out and use it, use the whole thing, so. All right, so we're getting that cooking. All these recipes tonight are relatively easy. We're gonna put a little garlic in there too. But remember, we're gonna wa watch our garlic that it doesn't burn. And really, we didn't add a whole lot of butter for all this zucchini and onion, just three tablespoons, so. If you prefer to use olive oil instead, you could do that. I'm just going to let this cook down a little bit. Because we want to get this in the oven. Take that big piece out. Right. We'll let that cook. We'll make, go ahead and make our filling. I uh, know. I don't know whether he wants me to stop doing what I'm doing. Or, or what? That's my husband. And he does not cook. He just eats. And, and he, he doesn't always eat everything. <laughs> well, that's what I try to tell him, but sometimes he doesn't always believe it. So we just got a little bit of mustard in there, and the prepared mustard, by just changing the type of mustard, you know, would change a little bit of the flavor. I've chose a spicy brown mustard for this tonight. If you would use the yellow mustard, that's fine. Whatever you like, whatever you have in your refrigerator. Okay, this is looking good. And we just want to make this soft. There really is surprisingly not a lot of liquid when you cook this like this. I was surprised to see that we didn't have a whole lot going on. But then I'm not steaming it, you know, we're sauteing it, so all the stuff should be brown. Okay. Here I've got all the spices, the salt, the pepper, the basil, the oregano, and the parsley. I was going to say I knew there was another one. Okay. Not a whole lot of egg stuff. It doesn't look like a whole lot, but it works. And then we're going to put some Parmesan, no, uh, mozzarella cheese. Okay, that's whisk good. Probably be downstairs looking at the paper. All right, now I 
know this looks kind of funny, because now it looks like it's just all cheese. I like to have just a little bit of bite on the, the vegetables. All right, so now you can see we've got all the pieces kind of the same, maybe not quite, but they're getting there. So I think for time's sake, we will go ahead and mix this, turn this off and mix this with this. And again, I would cool this down a little bit because it's going to melt some of the cheese, but we got to watch our time. We have to have time to eat. All right, so if you just mix this all up, I know it doesn't look like it's possible, but it is. See, it's coming together. Okay, then we're going to put it in our pie pastry. Oops. Smooth that out. Okay, there is our quiche. We're going to pop this in the oven. I don't want that stick in there. Okay. There could make it look pretty on the top. There we go. Just like in the, just like in the magazines. There. This is the point that you'd freeze it. You would, um, of course, cool it down because you don't want to um, wreck your uh, freezer. But cool it down to where you feel like you can get it in the, the freezer and then wrap it and freeze it. Now, you can do that when, whenever, and you can do that with all quiches for the most part. What I like to do is just bake it just a little bit just to kind of set it and then freeze it. So, you know, if we're baking this for about 35 or 40 minutes, I would bake it for about 20. It's, it's be set, but it wouldn't be table ready. And then take it out and freeze it. And then, you know, it's not as long when you take it out of the freezer to heat it up and all that. And you still have to have time to cook it so you're not cooking it and then cooking it again. So, you know, whatever you want to do. If you feel like this is the way you want to freeze it, that's good. All right, we'll stick that in. I'm going to show you the whole quiche, but I think I'm going to put it back in the oven for just a little bit more. You just want it um, you just want it set. That looks good. And if we stick a knife in it, the knife should come out clean. Not quite. So we're going to stick it back in the oven for a little bit more. Now at this point, if you took it out and you saw that the crust was kind of getting burnt, you, know, you could put some paper, uh, paper towels. You could put some foil. Don't put paper towel. Put foil around the um, around the uh, crust so it doesn't overly burn. 